Good morning. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how a thermistor and a light-dependent resistor work. They're two simple little components that you, we need to know about for our GCSE exams, and there are two key facts that you need to know about them. Um, so this is our thermistor, uh, and all it is at the moment, uh, my volt, uh, voltmeter, my multimeter here, is set to measure its resistance, and at the moment. You can see that it is measuring uh, 6K, 6,000 ohms. Now, um, that resistance is quite high, and all I'm going to do is put it into this little bit of hot water. Whoops, if we can get it in. There we go. And what you can see already is in the hot water, the resistance has dropped very, very quickly. And it's still going. Now, that's the opposite way around to most other um, conductors. When conductors heat up, their resistance increases. Now, a thermistor is specially designed so that when it heats up, the, the resistance decreases. And that has lots of applications uh, in real world. For example, um, let me think, your central heating will have a thermistor in it to detect when, what temperature your room's at. Uh, your oven probably has a thermistor in it as well. Um, and I would imagine also your laptop has one um, so that it knows when to turn your fan on to cool down the computer. And uh, I'll just pull this out now. You can see as well pretty quickly that the temperature, as the temperature of this uh, thermistor starts to drop, the resistance increases. There we go. Right, now the other component that you need to know about quite similar. Uh, it is a light-dependent resistor. That's this bit here. Okay. Uh, and a light-dependent resistor is very, very similar, except uh, I think you can probably guess what the resistance of a light-dependent resistor depends on. So right now, in the bright light in this room, the resistance is, let's move that back, 0.5k. If I cover it up, yeah, the resistance increases. And depending on how much light there is, the resistance changes. So for this one, more light means less resistance. Less light, more resistance. Again, this has useful applications in uh, the real world. You can use it on uh, street lights to uh, measure when to turn the light on of an, e of an evening when it's dark. Uh, your mobile phone has one in, so they can detect how bright the room you are in is, so that it knows how bright to set your screen. Uh, yeah, really useful little bits of kit. Okay, there are some graphs that you need to know as well that show how the resistance changes, very similar to the other ones. I'll just show you those in a moment. Okay. So, I'm now going to show you the graphs that you need to be able to recognise for our LDR and our thermistor. Uh, they're very simple. Let me start you off with the thermistor, because that was the one I showed you first. The thermistor, as the temperature increases, uh, its resistance decreases. And you can show that on the graph, just with that curve, okay? Oh, and the symbol for a thermistor is, it looks like a little hockey stick going through a normal resistor. Now, I could draw you a second graph for a, uh, a light-dependent resistor, LDR. Uh, the symbol for that is a little resistor in a circle with some arrows coming in to represent the light. Um, but to be honest, it's much easier just to go because it's exactly the same shape graph, except you've got light on the bottom instead. As the light level increases, the resistance decreases. And that is all we need to know about LDRs and thermistors.